Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I am Racky Ryan. Today I'm going to be talking about Entheon Biomedical Corporation, which is ticker symbol ENTBF. So Entheon is a stock that was introduced to me by one of my friends. He asked me to analyze the stock for him, and I told him I would, but he has to make sure to click the like button whenever I post it. Oh, and by the way, the majority of you are not subscribed, so right now is a good time to remind you to click that subscribe button because it is free to do so. So what is Entheon? I pulled up their company profile on Morningstar. Entheon Biomedical Corp is a biotechnology research and development company. It is committed towards developing safe and effective psychedelic medicines in order to provide patients with access to evidence-based treatments for addiction disorders. So what exactly does that mean? Basically, the company is focused on providing patients with medicines such as mushrooms and DMT, which honestly sounds like a company that Joe Rogan would love to know about. When you look at the DMT experience, and how did you find out about DMT? DMT is DMT. The dimethyltryptamine, not only that, your brain produces dimethyltryptamine. But all jokes aside, addiction is a very large problem in the world, and especially in Western society. So some statistics to prove what I'm saying is that almost 21 million Americans have at least one addiction, yet only 10% of them receive treatment. Drug overdose deaths have more than tripled since 1990. From 1999 to 2017, more than 700,000 Americans have died from overdosing on a drug. Alcohol and drug addiction cost the US economy over $600 billion every year. And there's more stats here, you can go ahead and read these, but basically, this is a very large problem. And the thing is with addiction, there's so many different types of addiction. There are a lot of different drugs of choice for people that are addicted, whether that be cocaine, meth, barbiturates, opiates, alcohol, you name it. People are addicted to a lot of different substances. So this company is working on solving addiction through the use of natural based remedies such as mushrooms or DMT. So what I like about this company, instead of sending you to a psychiatrist for your addiction, who's ultimately just going to prescribe you other drugs which you might become addicted to, they're actually using natural based remedies in order to solve your problem. And I know that some studies have shown that microdosing shrooms actually have a lot of benefits. States such as Oregon have even made mushrooms legal. So here I have the ballot that was passed in Oregon. In November 2020, voters passed Oregon ballot measure 109 making Oregon the first state to both decriminalize psilocybin and also legalize it for therapeutic use. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, you can roast me in the comments. I just know that is what is commonly known as magic mushrooms. Prior to Oregon actually fully legalizing it, a few cities such as Denver, Colorado, Oakland, and Santa Cruz, California already went ahead and made it decriminalized. So we're already seeing the push for cannabis to become legal in America. It's already legal in like something like 20 out of 50 states. It is also legal in Canada and a lot of other countries worldwide. So as we're starting to see alternative medicines such as cannabis being accepted, we're going to eventually start to see things such as DMT and magic mushrooms being accepted as well. So I pulled up DMT here to explain the next part. DMT is known for a rapid onset of the chemical being released into your brain. So part of why this is going to be effective is that it has such a short duration. And if you have a bad trip, they can pull you out of that trip quickly. Part of what makes DMT successful for treating addiction is that it takes you to a mind altering state and then in that mind altering state, it relieves a lot of your anxieties and you start to see things from a different perspective. Entheon is a relatively new company. The company was only founded in 2019, but it was founded at such a great time. The world is becoming more accepting of alternative medicines such as cannabis, mushrooms, and potentially DMT. So I think that this company, based on the problems that they are trying to solve, has major potential. If you watch my videos in the past, I value stocks using a discounted cash flow model. It is going to be extremely difficult for me to do this because the company is so new and there's not that many cash flows. So I'm not going to be able to value it from a traditional standpoint, but let's take a look at their chart. So I pulled up Entheon's chart here. The company has only been public since November of 2020, but in that six month time frame, the stock is up 45%. In January, the stock reached a high of almost $1 per share. It is currently trading at 59 cents. So that is about a 40% drop since its current high. And looking at the stock, the last time this stock was this low was in December, or more recently on the market dip when all stocks sold off. 
So if you so if you have been wanting to get into this stock, now could actually be a good time to get into it. Also, beyond the fact that I like the problem the company is trying to solve, I like that the company is Canadian. Canada has already produced a lot of successful alternative medicine companies such as Tilray, Canopy Growth Corporation, etc. So I think that this company could also be a success story too. So full disclosure, I do not own any shares of Entheon. However, I am considering buying some. And if you own any shares of the company or if you have any knowledge on the company, I would really appreciate if you left some comments below to let me know what your thoughts are. Also, anything I say in my videos is my opinion. I am not a licensed financial advisor and this is purely for entertainment. So let's check out some more data to see how large this industry can grow. Okay, so the psychedelic drugs market is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 16.3% over the next years to reach 6.85 billion by 2027. There are some very large names here that are getting involved into this space. Johnson & Johnson, which is a $100 billion company. ABVIE is also getting involved. They're a gigantic biomedical company, which happens to make Botox. So as you can see, there's a lot of interest in this space between a lot of already large companies. So Entheon could potentially become an acquisition target for companies such as Johnson & Johnson and AbbVie who want to get into the psychedelic space. Okay, so I pulled up the executive management team for Entheon here. So we have Timothy Ko. Timothy Ko is like the guy with the vision. He has a lot of experience in private ventures such as the service sector, investor relations, retail, and technology. He has a passion for the psychedelic space, and he's also been involved personally through his exposure to psychedelics, which he credits to saving his life. So Timothy is a person with a passion story. He's going to be able to sell this company to people because he's firsthand seen how psychedelics have improved his life. Next we have Brandon, who is a CPA. Don't really need to read that beyond the, anything other than he's a chief financial officer with the CPA. That's perfect. And next we have Andrew, who is director of ops and chief science officer. He has a PhD and he has been dealing with molecular biology and chemistry. That checks out. Next we have Dr. Brian, who's the chief business officer. He's been a doctor that brings more than 20 years of business leadership and biopharm expertise. That's perfect. We have Yaron, the project manager, 15 years in life sciences. We also have a board member who has a PhD and works in the department of medicine and another board member who is a JD, also known as an attorney. So the board and the company's executive management team checks out. That is a check. That is good to see. It's not a bunch of people that have no experience in the space or people that are not involved. I also like that Timothy is a user and he's not just a businessman. He literally claims that psychedelics have saved his life. So whenever he is going to pitch the company in order to sell the product, he's going to have a lot more passion and that passion is going to come off and people are going to be a lot more interested in it. So overall, I really like this company for a lot of different reasons. One, the company is trying to solve a gigantic problem. Addiction is a very large problem worldwide, especially in the Western society. Two, it has a great management team. The management team is very experienced, it's very diverse, and it has a founder who is a user who is also very passionate about the company that he has founded. Three, the company is one of the first companies in this space and it has an advantage of being a quick mover. Number four, legislation is starting to accept alternative medicines. We are seeing this with cannabis worldwide and we're starting to see this with psychedelics in states such as Oregon and also in cities such as Denver, Santa Cruz, California, etc. So this wraps up the deep dive on Entheon Biomedical Corporation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe. You can even turn on those notifications with the little bell so that you can be the first to know whenever I find undervalued stocks for you. DMT. 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 Again and yeah. again and again. No, no, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>